Well, it's that time of the year again when we're thinking about what's working in our homes and what interior home projects we might want to tackle and budget for in the new year. Well, we better talk about that. We're going to talk about the top trends that designers and consumers say are becoming less welcome in the home. And we'll share a bonus tip with you before we wrap up. So stay with us right to the end of this episode. Let's get to it. Welcome back. I'm Terry with MVP Realty. I'm Rich with MVP Realty. And we're happy to talk to you today about some trends that designers and consumers are calling out that might be trends we're over. Right. Things that are on their way out as we end 2022 and start to think about heading into a new year. And mm. uh, this is based on an article that was published um, in a blog post at the National Association of Realtors magazine. Mm -hmm. So I'll leave the link to the blog post below because there are additional trends uh, that are cited in the article. But we picked the top three that we thought might be relevant for conversation, plus this bonus tip that is going to uh, put a smile on my face, I think, <laughs> when we get to that one. Um, but why don't we tackle the top three tips? Sure. And the first one is the tip that we are over it with vessel bowl sinks. Oh yeah, I mean, I was never into it. I, I never, those never really struck me as something that I would want to put into my house. It just looked like it was going to be too difficult and I can only see, you know, trying to take something off the, the counter and hitting the sink and, you know, yeah. Well, you raised some of the interesting concerns. Well, why did they come up in the first place? It was, seen as an opportunity to take an otherwise outdated bathroom mm. and just give it a modern touch maybe with a square modern sink right. or that you know kind of bowl lifted up over the counter it was different that's for sure it was definitely yeah. different yeah. eye catching and it probably mm. did spiff up a really old outdated right kind of bathroom countertop however it came with the kinds of issues that you just brought right. up right i thought it looked better than its uh than its practicality so that's yeah. probably the headline for that one and so as people have had them in their homes they're saying they are difficult to clean mm -hmm. water and dirt just sort of accumulate at the base of the sink at the interface with the bathroom countertop right well that's okay. not really appealing no <laughs> and then what happens when somebody tries to kind of come across the counter moving something right they they're gonna, smack right into they're the gonna sink. smack and they're either they're gonna they're either gonna break the the bowl or they're gonna break what they had in their hands so, right yeah. so there's either cracks in the sink and or other damage right and so it's just one of those things that the designers and the consumers who were surveyed said right. eh, give it the hook we're, it's on its way out we're over those yep we're over it so that is tip number one we're over vessel bowl sinks mm -hmm. But that's not the only thing that no, we're over. No, of course not. No. no. So here's tip number two of we're over it. Tile countertops. You know, I can't believe that we're talking <laughs> about those in, in 2022. 2022. <laughs> Tile, I mean, yes. I mean, they, they were really a, a, a great idea, but that was back in the 70s. 70s and, and 80s. Yeah. And I don't really think, to be honest, in our real estate practice, that I have seen anyone putting in a tile countertop. No. Nope. offering it yep. and i don't even recall on a resale seeing one here in southwest florida yeah I remember. so this was yeah. a surprising tip for me it, w it was i'm surprised that we're now over it i th would have thought we were over this 20 years ago really probably so. and what has been um cited in the article which was even more interesting to me is that for some people apparently who have them they thought well you know, it is a lot of work to get rid of a tile inlaid countertop. Right. But all those grout lines, you know, get dirty and all this other stuff. It right. gets aged looking. They have looking. to be sealed all the time. It's just so a lot of upkeep. So what were people doing? They apparently were putting big, bold colors in the grout lines. That, that'll, that'll hide the mold. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> not, not necessarily an approach that I would have thought of. So if you are thinking about keeping your tile countertop, Ah, it's a sad thing to say, but we're over it. Yeah. It's a trend that's really past its prime. It is. As you said, I can't believe it's on its way out in 2022. I thought it was packed and gone a long, long time long ago. Long time ago. Yep. You know? Now, the other one is a little more relevant to modern times. Uh, and this was sort of the number one trend that we're over it from this article. I'm a little surprised about this one. They called what? it the clothis. Well, yes. Do you know what a clothis is? Well, I didn't until you told me, so... <laughs> 
Well, I had to read the article right. and go, I think I know what it is, but let's double check. So that is the combination of the words closet and office. Right. And those showed up during the pandemic era when people very, very quickly found that they had to pivot and work from home. Right. And many homes did not have dedicated home offices or perhaps not for multiple people. Right. So people took the doors off their closets. Mm -hmm. They used open shelving and accessorized and maybe put plants on there, anything to pretend that they were not working in a closet. It really kind of worked, you know, yes, and, and especially, you know, even, even today, especially in Florida, where, you know, storage is at uh, a minimum. Uh, it's kind of a, you know, you have to make a choice, uh, but it's it's nice to be able to have like a little office area that you could keep the door on and close True. if you needed to. That's right. And then, and then you still have the whole room uh, there in case you have uh, guests or this or that or whatever. So let's they say it's going out. Right? So exactly. you have more than one function. More than one function So for while a room. everybody in the article is saying that people want more space, they mm -hmm. want to come back out into the light and not right. be perhaps tucked in a corner near the closet looking in, um, I think that that might be a mixed yeah. message in terms of whether it's a trend we're really over. I mean, you could and turn it into a wet bar if you, you wanted could, to. You could know. have an entertainment That's zone, right. maybe yeah. in the bedroom. I don't know if you <laughs> well, really it's, need it's, it there. Well, it's the multi-purpose room. Okay. So. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see. A little but flex But I'm room. really curious about what our viewers are thinking. Yeah. Do you use a closet office combination? Do you think that trend is one we're over with? And how about for perhaps in a student's room where mm -hmm. space is at a premium and they're not there 10 hours a day, but right. perhaps doing homework. If space is limited or if you're in a condo or an apartment where Small again, apartment where you can the use footprint that. is smaller, mm -hmm. is this a practical way to have something look nice, be functional? And as you said, allow other uses for the room around it when you right. can't dedicate a whole room to an office. I really would love to hear what people are thinking and invite you to leave a comment below and help yeah. us understand as we're taking our buyers out sure. and talking to our sellers about preparing their homes in 2023, sure. coming up very soon, Thanks. what should we be talking about when it comes to the clothes? Right, and what, what trends are out for you? I mean, these are only a couple that, that were cited in that article. But, uh, I mean, I can think of others, and I'm sure you can too. So what, what trend have you been seeing lately that uh, you think uh, we're over We're it. over it. Yeah. So we need to hear what you're over. Right. Now, we do have a bonus tip. And I don't want you to miss that. But before we get to the bonus tip, if you have liked and enjoyed the information in this episode, please consider giving this a thumbs up. We really appreciate that. And if you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel. That will also help the channel to grow and it is totally free to you. It also is helpful if you subscribe to turn on notifications. And right. why would somebody want to do that? Well, then they would know when we have posted a new video uh, about Southwest Florida. Right. So any new episode to the channel is one that you can keep track of before everybody else. If you just turn on notifications, you'll know when we post them. Mm -hmm. And uh, now, without further ado, here's the bonus tip that came from this article and man it blew me away i had no idea what i, I was yeah, missing I, I wasn't yeah. in on the trend when the trend was in i, I mean, think that's my problem yeah there's i mean i i see now that i'm really going to have to do some redecorating you think well yeah. no, don't redecorate to this because this trend is over with and it is cowhide prints yeah so the article talks a little bit about having accessories, whether it's rugs or draping items over chairs that had either black and white or brown and white, irregular patterns that really were based on the look of cowhide. Yeah. Is the trend going to a different animal hide at this point, you it think? It did or? not say. No. Oh, it didn't <laughs> say. I think I heard, kind of got more from the article that it might be time to introduce some color back in rather than that black and white, you know, rug of the, the cow look and the mm -hmm. cow accessorizing and, you know, cow decorations. Yeah. Um, I have to say, and maybe it is a Florida thing, I don't remember seeing this in any home we have shown yeah. anyone I think in the is, last so many years. this is probably a trend that was probably we're over it a, 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 a while, while ago. ago. This is another one of those we're over it now, but wait a minute. I thought we were over that a long time ago. And if you have one accent piece, that's different it's than having neat. like right. overdoing it, right? right? So that still oh, sure. could be cool. So that's our bonus tip is to watch out for the cowhide prints. But I really don't know how um, much of a trend buster that one is no. going to be. We'll see. We'll see. And, you know, this is the time of year, like we were saying, we get these 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 uh, trends of what's the new year and what the old year is. A lot of times people go out. Uh, over the holidays and they go to uh, friends houses ah, and things yes. like that and maybe they've they 
they've redecorated or they bought a new house and it gives a lot of people a lot of ideas of what, what could we do, do back are, at home? are we going to are we going to remodel that kitchen finally uh or, or the uh, bath with or that vessel bowl sink yeah <laughs> so i mean a lot of people get some ideas over the holidays and and usually we've noticed that january 1st People just, you know, hit the street running with whatever project they've they've decided they need to do for the year. You're right. I think both because they've been inspired or kind of challenged by what they saw over the holidays as mm -hmm. they traveled or visited. And it's that whole New Year's resolution. Right. What do I want as a goal for the new year? Right. And our home interior is a really critical component of mm -hmm. our satisfaction, of functionality, as you were talking about a few minutes ago. And so it's not unusual for us to turn our attention to interior home remodeling. And so these articles are gonna come up. We'll keep an eye out for any other tips that are out there. Uh, but on the other hand, as we think about the new year, the other thing people consider a lot is whether they're actually living in the right home in the right community for them. Mm -hmm. And so if you're in Southwest Florida and you're thinking about selling a home and moving to a different size, upsize, downsize, perhaps just different location and community, or if you're outside of Florida and looking at coming here to Southwest Florida to join us in this wonderful area that we live, we hope that you'll also reach out and give us a call. I'm Terry with MVP Realty. I'm Rich with MVP Realty. We're here to help you get the best opportunity and to find the right match both on trends and in homes right. and communities so that your 2023 will be the most productive one for you and for your family. And if you found this interesting, we have some additional tips for you as home buyers and sellers. Check out the video over here on your way out and we look forward to seeing you over there. Bye for now.